My name is Andre Robinson. Playing African drums is one of the best skills that I've ever learned in, in my time of living, <laughs> and I ain't lived that long, but still. Playing the drums is very demanding and physical, especially with your hands. So in life sometimes it just teaches you how hard you gotta go about situations. Sometimes you gotta go full force and you gotta put all your effort, you gotta put all your time in, you gotta put all your dedication in. Sometimes you just gotta let go, you gotta pull back, you gotta pick a different tone towards things. Human beings were never meant to be alone. One of the most effective ways we learn is through peer-to-peer -peer learning. Peer-to-peer -peer learning has the greatest influence and impact when it's being facilitated by a transformational thinker, leader, and doer. Our guest this morning is Keith Murphy. He's the founder of the Healthy Village Learning Institute. Tell us, first of all, what the Healthy Village Learning Institute is. So, so for many of you, you've heard that adage, it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. um, my question in, in developing this process was saying, if the village isn't healthy, can you raise a healthy child? So it's interesting. I grew up in the projects. So the concept of a village strikes home to me. And unfortunately, a lot of time, our kids from historically disadvantaged communities, we don't feel that connection. We don't have that connection to, to where we live. We don't have the connection to the institutions around us. But if we live in a village, we know that we belong there. We know not only do we belong there, the village belongs to us. For two or three decades, really the Mon Valley area, not just in Keysport, has really struggled. That starts painting a perception of people that this is what you see, this is what McKeesport is. Um, but the truth is that does not identify who we are as a city, it does not identify our community. If we're going to continue to move ahead and we're going to flourish once again in the city of McKeesport, a critical part of that is making sure there, there's this positivity uh, that's being spread. A healthy village is a group of people who live in the same area who want the best for themselves, for their children, for their community. And I believe that Keith, he has a very good concept that can really help a lot of people because again, it comes back to just what we innately need, which is hope and love and knowing that someone cares about us. and having a, a space to talk about the, the, why you don't feel that way. But this is a place where you're going to get to feel some stuff. It is what motivates me every day because I know the struggle that my ancestors had to endure. It is no accident that there are folks who don't want children to be taught our history because when we learn our history, we are given strength, and courage. When we know who we are, there's no stopping us. So whenever this building was starting, I didn't quite know what was going on in it, but, I, but there was people speaking of, oh, you have to go in there, you have to go in there. I'm a social worker, so I, I try to be well-rounded in different areas. And when I came in here, it was like mind-blowing. There was tons of positive information positive images, and then just the energy of just people who care. For those of us who have traveled to Africa, when you walk into this building, it feels like an African village. It is a museum. It's a cultural place of learning, of growth and development. I think the major thing about the Holly Village is the impact that it has on the kids, and I think it's impact. We want to try to get our people all of our people in this country to realize that we are human beings and we belong to each other. Well, this is our sweet tree. When you know your history, it's your sugar. So you familiar with the slave trade? No. Now, we weren't slaves. We were enslaved. So there's language structures that all of you have to adopt. The people didn't like to think that this was our history from the gate, but this wasn't our history from the gate. All y'all familiar with the pyramids? One of the guiding principles here at Healthy Village is that we will grow together as a community 
or die together as a community. And that really comes from our African heritage. The first time I came here, I was lost in the way of culture and lost in the way of ignorance of my culture. So I think it's really important for us in the United States to think about different theories and to draw on different theories for learning. That can come from the African-centered principles that are part of the school. The opportunity to be immersed in this environment I think is really unique and rich and gives um, an opportunity to understand the history, the challenges that people have faced, the struggles that people have overcome. As you learn from this space, it, it provides hope for a different future. The expression that's able to be achieved through Keith's work, when you look around this building, um, there's evidence that this is a real experience. It highlights the very lack of humanity that's expressed in the world. And why that's important is we need to teach kids how to deal with their resiliency, not as a byproduct of being in an at-risk environment, but one in which they use their resiliency to transform and pivot so they can find success in today's culture. A healthy village definitely impacted my life in, in a positive manner. And that's why I'm, I attribute it to me being where I'm at today. I just believe the education that you get here and cultural awareness that you get here is second to none. You know, if you're an African-American, you're gonna be tied with your roots. And here, it's not just the type of museum where you look at things that are behind glass. You get to physically feel and touch what your ancestors went through. My son has always had that desire to do something positive in the community. And he takes great pride in our people. But overall, the goal is to bring the community up. I think of it as the sound. When everybody is together, we're all on one accord, and we're in unity, the sound is excellent. We as a city need to become a team and work together and learn how to love and respect each other. Here at the Healthy Village, we want to be the foundation for that. When you have organizations like the Healthy Village Learning Institute that's working so hard uh, and, and you're seeing some of those results, this is one of the things that people say and say, wow, that's really going on. What a program. And here, you don't, it's like you don't feel any type of negative vibe or any, like any type of negative energy. It, this place makes you feel like anything can be possible and makes you feel like that you can change your attitude on everything just as long as you're dedicated to or motivated to do so. You know, sometimes when we have resources, we want to hoard them. We want to say, you know, because we think they're, they're finite. But health is infinite. It's something that everybody can have. Brother Murphy has been able to understand the importance of creating a place where you can come and be part of something that is positive, something that is liberational. What we're trying to build here at the Healthy Village, love, dignity, respect, and hope through the rites of passage, through the power program, through teaching stream. These are things that we're continuously doing and trying to instill into young people so that they're getting raised up in a healthy village. You know, become healthy people, good people, respectful people. It's like one of those things that doesn't really settle. It just stays there in your mind and in your heart and it makes you want to come back and learn more. This place is a healthy village because we set good examples for our youth because they're going to be the next generation to take over our community. To me, it's something that honestly every parent in this community should be wrapped around the corner um, trying to get their children in here. I think that the children who do come here, they have such a level of respect. You see them in the community and their eyes beam up because they have that commonality of being part of this program. What I hope to see through McKeesport and the Healthy Village Learning Institute is a partnership that explores the intimate nature of human transformation to come here and not just visit the village, 
but have a series of experiences that enlightens them about the human spirit. But well, we're hungry for how far we need to take it further. We need to get more participation. We need to get more people interested in what it is. I hope it to be as big as that new addition that we want to put on this building and, and, and more people that we want to teach. I want to see it to get higher than that, bigger than that, greater than that.